Hi guys, we're at Unon Slurp. So we get 24 to 32 trotters a week. People never want to buy pink right. trotters from us, but ramen shops do. It's like a great base for a soup. This is something we, we never get to see. First step, we just use the blowtorch to burn some of the residual hairs. Is it something that you would eat like on a Sunday or is it it's like... It's like a, a regular home or cooking dish. Regular like, home cooking dish. Yeah. Uh, in my house, my mom would usually make it, but it's just gonna be a, like a really nice hearty stew with some okay. uh, soy beans. Those are really good as well. Now we blanch it. And you also throw in some ginger, garlic, and some peppercorn in it. We usually add some cooking wine to the water that we use to blanch the pig chowder, just to oh, okay. remove some of the funky smells. Um, yeah. Now we put those in the stock that we braise those in. The unique thing about this pot is like we kind of uh, we refill this uh, every every week. This is kind of a master stock exactly. that you're going to use for every use use okay. as long as we last. So next step, we want to debone that. We still want to leave some of those soft bones in there, so it kind of gives that crunchy texture. Almost. So you want that variation in texture. Yeah. You want to maintain that. So the next step is to slice those up and uh, make it bite size. So the chef is going to allow me to break down the other trotter and give me the opportunity to embarrass myself, uh, which I always want to do. You know, I've been butchering for 12 years now, but I've never known exactly how much meat was uh, in between all of these bones. Now you see why we take this off the menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how often does the chef uh, sneak a bite while he's doing this? Uh, like every time. Every time? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> so if I sneak a bite? Go ahead. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. Come on, man. You're gonna carve the turkey and not give me a bite? That is incredible. There's so much happening there. The textures are really, really welcoming. To me, it reminds me of duck. Like, oh, the, the texture. Yeah, the fatty. Meat. It's just, a, it's incredible to see a piece of meat that we see every day. Totally. But I never appreciated oh, yeah. it on this level. It's, a, it's amazing to me the amount of flavor you've packed into this with just, you know, blanching it and then cooking it for an hour and a half. And now you have something very, very special. So what's the actual dish that we're gonna have tonight? So the first one we have here is the, our Shakuna charcuterie dish. Okay. Uh, you can see here on the cutting board is pig here, that's beef shank, also tongue. Is this all gonna be served together? Yes. Okay, cool. And, and these are all cooked in the same broth? Yes. So there are like a lot of similar flavors, so it is kind of a texture experience. Mm -hmm. So you get to, for this dish, you get to uh, experience the different texture of a pig and also cow. So you said this is a traditional Hunanese dish. What differentiates Hunanese cuisine from other Chinese cooking? So the main difference is probably the use of fresh chilies as okay. compared to other cuisines, like say Sichuan cuisine, which is also known for their uh, spiciness. Mm -hmm. But in Hunan cuisine, we usually use a lot of uh, fresh green long hong chilies, mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, Thai chilies. Hey, yo, you guys want to dig in? Super excited. I'm going for the beef for the beef tender tendon first. All right, you're going beef tendon. I'm gonna go pig ear with some cilantro. Whoa, man, that is so good. I love the collagen. A little bit of bite, like, and you really, yeah, it's spicy, but you just get it at the end. Like everything up front, it's just all of that braising liquid. That's so freaking good. And what's so cool about this too is that, like, I don't know personally. When I think about charcuterie, I think Italian or French, like flavor profile and everything. Right. But this is same components, same everything. Just a completely different presentation, completely different flavor profile, mm -hmm. but it's so much more powerful in flavor. It's mm. it's amazing. Yeah. And so much more interesting. Yeah, I gotta say as a dish, it's so cool to have 
the whole thing be three completely different textures. Right. It's like, it's super fun to eat because um, mm -hmm. the texture and the taste is different on every it's single bite. It's fun to experience, you know, every different, you know, those different cuts and also textures. Most yeah. Yeah, you get the cut, like the skin has like a little bit of like gumminess and like right. sweetness from all the collagen, and then you get the tendon, which adds a little bit of crunch, and then you have the meat, which is has that like kind of like fall apart texture, mm -hmm. and you get them all in one bite. Yep, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love this dish. I love it. Thanks. For more videos like this, click here. Or like a little baby bird. Oh, baby bird. Oh, oh. Do 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 do